Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. We're going to go get the OnePlus 6T from T-Mobile. I'm going to go that route and join the finance gang and see how I like this thing. You know, you guys know I'm not a fan of having bill, bill credits and, or just anything extra on my bill. Uh, but this is too good to pass up. And I only paid $300 for my Moto Z2 Force. And now I'm going to get $300 for it right back and put it towards the OnePlus 6T. So let's get this thing going. All right, guys, so here we are uh, with the OnePlus 6T. I went on ahead and cracked it open. Um, there's some things about this, uh, and I'll get into this phone in just a second, um, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but for, like I said, for the T-Mobile version, um, if I didn't say it before, the T-Mobile version, you only get the mirror black 128 eight gig version. And that is what they're offering right now. And I think, the, I think they're pretty much testing the, the waters to see if they can sell this phone. But the good part is you do get the eight gig model. Uh, and they're selling it at cost, the same as what you buy from, from OnePlus. I will check to see if this is unlocked. I'll do it in this video, so if you're wondering about that, I'll check it, because some people said that it's locked to T-Mobile, some people say that it's not locked to T-Mobile, so I'm gonna put my Project 5 SIM card in here, and I'm gonna see if that works. But you do get the Snapdragon 845, same setup, uh, the 16 and the 20, you just get a 3,700 million power battery, and you get that fingerprint reader inside of there. Oxygen OS based on Android Pie. And you know, in the box, you get the dongle. I cracked it open because there was a lot of stickers on the back. I didn't want to bore you with that. You get that dongle down there and you get your charging cable. And that's pretty much it, man. The phone definitely is a different, a, built a little bit different um, than the 6. It's got like a different sloping design on here. Um, but they do give you a case, which is really nice. You know, I think that's important. Even though I bought a D-Brand skin for it, they do give you a case. This mirror black, this is the first time I've seen the mirror black in person. Um, never seen it on the other OnePlus devices. Cause I, I wouldn't have purchased a mirror black version. I would have gotten the midnight black cause that's what I wanted. But the mirror black looks pretty good, man. But I got a D-Brand screen for that. Cause I knew that T-Mobile didn't have the midnight, midnight black. So, uh, but here it is. And you know, the phone has a sloping design like this now, opposed to the one on the, the, the six. It's a really nice looking phone. You still get the alert slider and everything's set up pretty much the same. It's just got a nice sloping. You're gonna have to get this on the hand if you have a six. You'll be like, oh yeah, it is built different. It's like, it's easier comfort on the hand. Like all the, all the sides are definitely more curvy. Yeah, yeah, but there is the front. Here is your new cutout at the top right there. That's the difference in the two. Uh, and I'm gonna get this set up. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you with the setup. I'm just gonna get it set up and I'm gonna do the the transfer uh, on my, my OnePlus 6. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that transfer button right there. And I'm gonna transfer, boom. I am the old phone, I'm the new phone, and we're gonna switch these over. You can kind of see the difference in here, right here. This is, the mirror black is actually pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. But I'll get this set up real quick, you know what I'm saying? And uh, let me try on the case for you, because I'm gonna leave it in this case until I get my skin more than likely. Uh, let's see here. It's, it's okay, you know, it's, it's a nice little, some kind of protection that they give you for now. And I believe there's a screen protector already, yep, there's a screen protector already installed. So that's good, you know, OnePlus does that. This is the same kind of case with the lip protection around it, so that's good. It's matte around the sides. I don't think I'll be buying any other any other cases for this. So if you see some cases for this, I probably didn't buy them. It's, probably, it's gonna be a review case. But here it is, let me get this set up, you know what I'm saying? So uh, give me a second, and I'll also test out my Project 5 SIM card when we come back. Now I set up the um, facial unlock, which is really fast. And now I'm gonna do the fingerprint setup. So I'm gonna do it like this with this finger, cause I'll probably be leaving this on the table um, and touching it sometimes like this. I'm gonna set up another finger too, but I wanna test it like this first. Just to test it with this finger. 
let's add another now I'm gonna add this finger I can tell you though this is a very lengthy process compared to a regular uh, if I got to be more sensitive I guess with this one uh, than on a other another fingerprint reader All right, so I'll add another one, but you don't have to watch. All right, so it's going through the restore and everything. And um, yeah, let's take a look real quick before I put that Project 5 SIM card in there. Here it is next to the 6. And I can tell you, it's, it feels uh, different. It feels, it's obviously feels like it's, and you're probably saying, Jay, you got it in the case. But it does feel like it's a little bit taller, even though I kind of, you know, I know it's not. Uh, but... I think it, it might be a little bit tall. I'm not sure, but um, I could do the specific me measurements and everything. But it just—I'm talking about in hand, real world, holding both of these. Uh, this one feels a little chunkier, and it feels a little taller and narrower. But it's just placebo effect, man. This one feels rounded. This one feels boxy. But looking at the screens, uh, that's probably so. Uh, it's doing a restore of all my stuff, and I can confirm that there is bloatware on here, as you can see right there. Um, there's T-Mobile stuff, one, two, three. You got that one plus thing right there. I'm gonna go ahead and press that. You had to get through the phone in order to do that. So I did a backup from the cloud, but I'm gonna hit that one plus real quick later on and do that. But there is bloatware. Obviously, that's that T-Mobile stuff right there. So let's go into the settings here. And we gotta go to we gotta go to dark mode, man. Let's go to dark mode real quick. I'm not used to the uh here we go. Let's go to dark. I like that better. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Much better. Um, but um, you know what? For the purposes of the video, I'll change it. <laughs> it. It probably looks better on video with the um, with the light mode. So I'll do that just for the video. But then I'm going back to to the dark mode, and after I get done with the video. <clears throat> Or does it? Which one do you think looks better? Nonetheless, let's get on with this. Uh, so storage, you can see 115 available of the 20, 128. Uh, about phone, uh, oxygen 9, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs onboard storage. There you go, man. Um, now let's try Project 5. Let's see if the phone is unlocked. Let's get my Project 5 SIM card. Because some of you guys are going to ask this. And... Um, I know you're gonna want to know, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my Project 5 SIM card and get it, get the uh, put put it in there real quick. Had to get my SIM ejection tool off my keychain here. <clears throat> Let's see if it in fact is unlocked. I know you guys want to know. I want to know, actually, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to know if it's unlocked. I'm kind of curious myself. Let's pop this case off. This mirror black, man. I'm glad I got a D-brand skin for this because um, I was not feeling... I mean, it looks good, but I, I, I would get tired of the... Tired of the... Um, what's the name? The fingerprints real quick. The SIM tray needs to be a, a little bit tougher, OnePlus. That's a, that's a flimsy SIM tray, folks, just so you know. Let me get this thing in here, right? There we go. Facial unlock is ridiculous. All right, so let's see if this thing is unlocked. I'll get a message immediately if it's not unlocked. It'll come up. Let's see here. There's mobile data just picked up. No sir. Project Five. All right, so <laughs> it is unlocked. It is unlocked. So let's call my phone here. Let's make the first call. Let's call. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna call this number right here. I'm gonna call my Project Five. Calls out of here. Oh, gosh. Let's see. Yeah, it's ringing. Yeah, 
So it's unlocked. It is unlocked, folks. There you have it. It's official. The T-Mobile version is just another unlocked version. And um, some people felt like it was going to be locked to T-Mobile, but questions answered. There you are. Well, that takes care of that. <laughs> so that's a good thing, man. You know, um, so I wonder if I could, well, I'm pretty sure I can disable all of this bloatware and all this stuff right here. Uh, but yeah, man, um, there you have it, man. Uh, Shaman J. We're all in with the OnePlus 6T, man. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. Let me take my SIM card out of here. Got it. I don't want this thing to ring during the video. But the SIM tray, though, super flimsy, folks. Super flimsy. So be careful when you're um, dealing with this SIM tray. It's really flimsy. So I'll do another. I'll, I'll give a quick walk around one more time with the, um, with the uh, OnePlus uh, 6 there. And um, show you the difference in size, and because I still feel like it's a little bit different, man. Something about it—it it just feels like it's different for some reason. I don't know what it is. It, it feels like it's uh, built a little different. So let me get it out of this case here. I'm liking this, man. So here it is. Mirror black. Same phone. Let me hold on like this. Yeah, I know I'm not crazy. I knew it, man. So this one is a little bit taller. And it's also a little bit thicker. But it's got a sloping design. And it also feels a little bit narrower. So it's a little bit taller. Facial unlock is the truth. Um, it's a little bit taller. And it's a little bit chunkier. And it's a little bit narrower. There you have it. They both feel really, really good, though. Uh, and you can kind of tell looking at the bottom of the phones that it's kind of rounded on the 6T and square, squared off on the 6. There it is. This bad boy's unlocked. I know people are gonna be buying these on T-Mobile and then selling them off. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm keeping this bad boy. This was this is gonna be my daily probably, more than likely. Mm, had to put my, mm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm glad it's unlocked though, so I'm glad I can answer that question for you, man. It's your man J, OnePlus 6T in full effect. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, did you get yours? What's the deal? Leave a comment down below. See you in the next video. Take care.